Mounting a TV in the concrete is easy if you know which tools to use, how to drill in the concrete, which masonry bits to use, and which anchors to use for a strong mount that could hold over 100 pounds and TVs over 70 inches. The goal is to mount two TVs on concrete block. Today, I use several different drills just to demonstrate. Uh, one is, uh, two of them actually are hammer drills. One is a cordless hammer drill, and one is a regular drill using masonry bits with the hammer function it makes it so much quicker but it can be done with a regular drill i use a variety of anchors to demonstrate which kind of anchors you can use in masonry including the plastic expansion anchors that come with tv mounting kits into which you put your uh, lag bolts instead of the uh, stud smaller expansion anchors with a number 12 screw and quarter inch tapcon concrete screws the fully extendable and tilting tv mount i'll install with just three inch and a quarter concrete screws I usually say to customers it's strong, but don't do pull-ups on it. But I think today I'll have to tell them to go ahead and do the pull-ups on it because it's that strong. On the flat mount, I do a weight test to see if the mount can hold over 40 pounds as advertised. And considering I weigh 175 pounds, we skip the weight test and just try to do pull-ups on the extendable mount that I install with Tapcon screws. This is a fully extendable and tilting telescoping TV mount. I don't attach the TVs because that's the easy part. You just have to, once you get the mount on the wall, which is the hard part, you just have to follow instructions. And just remember not to over tighten anything, including the bolts on the TV, as well as the concrete, because you can strip the screws. Let's get to it. Today I'm going to be installing TV mounts on hollow concrete block, commonly known as cinder block. These blocks are concrete, about an inch and a quarter thick, and then there are hollow spaces in the block. The tools I'm going to be using are going to be a hammer drill. I have a hammer drill, a corded hammer drill. I'm also going to use my Milwaukee cordless on the hammer drill setting. The corded has a higher RPM. It's very fast, very powerful, but the cordless is usually pretty reliable. I also have a corded regular power drill, but it's because it's corded, it has such a high RPM. I'm going to see if I'm going to be able to drill in the concrete efficiently and quickly with that, if at all. I'm also going to be using concrete masonry bits, two TV mounts. I always recommend flat. TV mounts for concrete rather than the completely extendable ones just because the tension strength is not as good as the shear strength of pretty much any concrete anchor except for maybe these wedge anchors which are overkill for TVs for the most part unless you really have a very very large TV and a large TV mount and then in that case you might want to use the wedge anchors in concrete. These TV mounts are good for this. This is a single stud TV mount. I did a couple of videos on that using one stud in either plaster or drywall. In the instructions, they also say you can use this on concrete, although I usually recommend the flat ones. This particular one is a small one, only good for uh, about the 200 by 200 millimeter uh, spacing on the back of the TV. I'm not going to show that part. That's the easiest part of TV mounting probably is putting these parts to the back of the TV. You just have to make sure you use the correctly sized, correct size bolts and don't over tighten. It does not need to be that tight. If you over tighten you could break the TV. The more difficult part is getting the mount to the wall surface. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not actually going to be putting a TV here. This is just for demonstration purposes but I am going to be using other tools such as this luggage scale to see uh, how much weight I can put on it if it ever comes out of the wall um, this small one says it's only good for 30 pounds and I know this one can go uh, I'm not sure the weight but it can hold up to the 74 inch TVs other tools you'll need is uh, something to brush out the dust. This, this particular wall is hollow. You have other uh, concrete, such as poured concrete foundation wall. 
This one has parging, essentially the same principles you're going to be using, um, except that one will be solid concrete. In that case, it's more important to drill longer than the anchor and to blow out the dust. Otherwise, it can bottom out. And then it'll, it may, if you're using concrete screws, it'll strip the hole and then the hole will be useless. Uh, stripping is not as much of an issue with these plastic anchors because you're basically just going to use your hammer and tap it in and then you'll drive the lag bolt that comes with the TV mounting kit such as these into the plastic anchor that particular flat mount came with this style of a, of a plastic expansion anchor the concept is the same with both you drive the bolt inside and it expands and then that plastic pushes out in all directions into the hole on this one two directions actually when you think about it but this one four directions and it grips and it's very strong we're going to test that I want to see if this one which I have used to strengthen TV mounts uh, it says it was good for uh, several hundred pounds uh, shear weight. I'm not sure the tension strength on that one. I also like to add additional concrete screws. These are Tapcon concrete screws, but any brand will do pretty much. Uh, you basically just drill a hole a little bit smaller. Look on the packaging for the size hole. You want to make sure that you hold that that drill very smoothly, very steady, or else you'll make a hole that's too large and then these threads won't have enough material to grip and these threads will actually cut into the concrete and then they'll hold uh, very strong. This is a half, this is a quarter inch in the middle that's the one I'm going to be using and the one on the left but that one is for putting uh, wood up against concrete such as a 2x4. That smaller 3 16th bolt requires a 5 30 second drill bit. This one requires a 3 16th masonry drill bit. I'm not going to be using the wedge anchors. Like I said, that's usually overkill. Uh, in that case, you would need a 3 8 inch hole, just the same with these plastic expansion anchors. 3 8 inch hole. In this one, you will drive it into the hole, tighten that nut, and what it does is it pulls back on the bolt. If you can see there, there are these little parts that then will expand outward making it extremely strong. Um, I installed with lag anchors uh, 600 pound uh, overhead storage for garages and the instructions said if it was a concrete ceiling to use those and I definitely would have used those rather than something like that or Tapcons, even the larger Tapcons for something like 600 pounds tension weight overhead. You can use the larger um, 3 8 inch uh, Tapcon screws. I don't know if I have any with me right here, but it's essentially just a larger, grabs on to uh, a larger area inside the hole. It might be uh, a little bit stronger for you. And basically a level to make sure your mount is level. Uh, markers to mark where you're going to drill. And then just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to try different drills here just to see how we can uh, see which one is best.